Electron Power Systems, located in Acton, Massachusetts, is currently pursuing a revolutionary approach to making our country more energy independent. The cornerstone of this research involves the design and construction of a low-cost clean fusion energy generator. This device will make it possible to heat and power a house for a fraction of the cost now paid by the average homeowner. In fact, it is anticipated that a savings of 80% is a very achievable goal. Furthermore, this generator will also be capable of powering a car or other vehicle without polluting the environment. This research has led to our discovery of a plasma toroid, or ring, which remains stable with no external magnetic coil containment. It is important to note that the physics of this new discovery has been peer-reviewed by a number of independent scientists this image shows our new stable plasma toroid as it is forming around an arc. This image shows a stable plasma toroid after it has left an arc. For background, fusion energy work requires building-sized magnetic containment to hold their plasma toroids stable for fusion. Our new plasma toroid discovery needs no magnetic confinement. We discovered this new stable plasma toroid in our search for a ball lightning solution. Ball lightning is a largely unexplained natural event that occurs during a lightning bolt. During a lightning event, ball lightning is often seen leaving the bolt and floating through the air for seconds to minutes, something no one can explain. Ball lightning has been observed and reported thousands of times over the centuries but never captured and analyzed until we did so in our lab. We learned how to make and modify controlled lightning bolts to produce the stable plasma rings we think explain ball lightning. NASA reviewers suggested we look at the University of Miami work from the 1980s that collided two low energy plasma toroids to produce fusion. The image we are showing is from their original papers so it is the best we have from back then and does show the colliding plasma toroids. But several limitations kept that University of Miami work from being practical, the most important of which was their large magnetic containment apparatus. We have learned how to overcome each limitation. We are adapting our new discovery to the University of Miami process to make a practical unit using the electron power system's stable plasma toroids. We have learned how to make these plasma toroids in an 18-inch bell jar. In this image, the vacuum bell jar is shown in the upper right. This is important because it shows that we are working in a small system, and that will translate to practical-sized products. Recent breakthroughs in our lab have made possible significant progress in the development of a number of unique devices for a variety of applications. We are planning products to heat and power a home that will be about the size of a Home Depot 10 kilowatt generator. Our concept design of a one meter in length home electric generator is shown in image six. We initiate a plasma toroid in an initiation chamber as shown. It is then moved to the reaction chamber as a target using the acceleration coils. We then produce a second plasma toroid and accelerate it to collide with the first in the reaction chamber to produce high energy ions. These ions are captured and their energy is removed and converted to electricity. The fuel is hydrogen. We calculate the efficiency of this process to be greater than 80%. With no moving parts, the reliability will be extremely high and the cost will be low. Clint Seward is CEO and Chief Engineer of Electron Power Systems. He is an electrical engineer and is asking for your help in financing this project. This funding will be used to improve the initiation process for these stable plasma toroids. It is anticipated that this initial project will span a period of eight months with an energy demonstration to follow as a separate project one year later. Any support you can provide will be greatly appreciated. Thank you.